In the previous episode of Hardcore Minecraft Season 2, I began a brand new journey into a 1.18 hardcore world full of sprawling new terrain to explore. I set out from spawn, gathered myself enough resources to make full iron armor and tools, I settled down in this quaint little beach next to a nearby village, and I gave myself a fighting chance by making myself a safe area, including mini farms and my very own house. And today, I will be continuing my quest to rule this world, and I am not playing around. Round. That's why in today's video, I'm giving myself four pretty hefty goals to accomplish in Hardcore Minecraft. Number one, I want to exploit the nearby village for fully enchanted diamond gear with absolutely busted enchantments. Number two, I want to travel to the nether and gather all of the resources I need from a nether fortress. Number three, I'm going to travel to the end to defeat the ender dragon and claim her domain as my own. And number four, I want to explore the end and come out of there with my very own Elytra. I asked you all in a poll a couple of months ago if you wanted this series to have longer episodes and today is going to be insane so strap in. Also I know it's been a little bit of time in between episodes and I am really sorry real life is pretty busy and the 100 days videos do take a lot so please understand. Also one more thing it would mean a lot to me if you'd go down below and just see if you're subscribed because odds are YouTube shows you my videos all the time but you might not be subbed. Plus you could be here for the moment when I hit the ultimate haha -ha funny number 420,069 subs. Anyways, we've got a lot to do today, so let's begin. All right, so here we are back in the hardcore world. I've not been in this world for a Okay, calm down, cows. I've not been in this world for a good minute. I think it's been two months, actually. I am so sorry that I've not had another hardcore episode. I've had this thing where I've been kind of scared to, like, make more hardcore episodes because every time I think about the old hardcore world, I just miss it, you know? But today, we're going to accomplish a lot. We're going to get ourselves to full diamond with the best enchantments, the best. And we're also going to get a full set of diamond armor with the best enchantments. But first, I figured we'd go around here, pay attention to some of these cows and sheep, just so we can kind of keep our resources up. All right, so now we got all of our little crops taken care of. We got our sheep and cows all bred. I'm gonna go over here and assess the uh, the inventory issues to see what kind of resources we're actually gonna need today. But the first thing I'd like to do is gather up a lot of the villagers and go to the nether. That means I'm going to need iron. All right, so we got torches. Torches are good. We might need to go mining, to be honest. Yeah, I don't have a single piece, piece of, of iron. iron. Okay, we're gonna go try to find some iron. Oh, here we go. Ooh, okay. You know what? This could work out. Going caving, first thing. Perfect. Ooh, okay. Hey. Hey, man. How's it going? Hey, man, if you could just... Oh, oh, boy. I'd, I'd rather him be in sight than not, you know what I mean? This is not even a cave. What is this? You get some iron, though. Let's go. We got four iron. We're gonna, we're gonna just go. We're gonna find some more caves. Hopefully, we can get at least, you know, a couple stacks of iron. That's gonna be the first goal, so I can actually use that iron to make some tools and trade with villagers. So, yeah, let's go and check out some caves. All right, so I haven't gotten much iron yet, but I did end up finding this really nice cave system, like right next to the house. Look at this. We do have like little bits of like iron spread out. We're finally deep enough. We can get lots of iron. I'm just scared that like a creeper is going to dive bomb me. Only problem is I also don't have any weapons. I just broke my sword and all I have left is my axe. Oh man, look at this area. This area, not, not a big fan of it. But I'm going to keep going on and getting more iron so we can actually go back and make some tools and begin the next phase. Oh, that scared me. I thought that was a creeper. I hate how that sounds breaking that block.
Okay, so originally I was just going to leave this cave system after getting, you know, enough iron. I've already got kind of a stack and a half along with a lot of copper. But then I found this. There's a mine shaft down there. We have a chance of finding golden apples, if not god apples, because we are going to be curing villagers once we do end up getting to the nether. That's the first goal is to cure a bunch of villagers to get our god armor, our god bow, god sword, pickaxe, you name it, everything. Full set of diamond, OP enchanted, everything. That's the goal. But let's go explore the mine shaft. So this is kind of interesting. This is one of those chained ones. There's... Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Come on, man. Well, as I was saying, this is one of those chained ones, so it's over top of a cave system. I might have to cut this trip short because my inventory is getting pretty full. But if I could find some iron down here, that would be pretty great. I am going to take a bunch of these rails because, you know, that saves me iron in the future and I can make an iron farm using rails. I can also use them to move villagers. These are the most dangerous areas. Uh, you should always break these whenever you walk into them because mobs can be sitting in any corner. Mine shafts are... There's three creepers in there! What did I say? Okay, they don't know what to do. This is okay. We got this. This is so dumb. Why are there so many creepers? Oh, no. Dumb. He doesn't know I exist. Where? I hate this man so much. Die. Die. Thank you. He thinks he's so clever. I'm going to need gunpowder for the farm, so we'll take as much of that as we can get as well, just to make sure. God apple. Okay, we have a golden apple. It's not a god apple, but it is better than nothing. This is pretty much all we have for this little mineshaft area. Kind of okay with that. There's an area under here. Yikes. This, okay. I'm going to be down here for a while. We got some lapis. We got some redstone. Hey, we found diamonds. Let's go. This wasn't a waste. How many are we going to get though? I wish I had fortune. All right, two diamonds. That's, you know what? That is still really good. Let's unfortunately get rid of some cobble. We got more iron. We got some diamonds. I kind of regret being down here this long because I could have fortune by now and I could just come down here with fortune and get significantly more resources overall that tiny little mine shaft ended up being this massive cave system full of many more ores to loot and as sad as it is to say i was down there for quite a long time please be a god apple hey i got another diamond that's nuts and the gold is kind of <gasps> name tag Ooh, inventory space that i don't have Let's go. Sweeping edge too. Not that great. I will take the gunpowder though. In that last clip, I said that I was going to be done down here and that it was a huge cave. When I say huge cave, I meant a huge cave. It just keeps going. There's just tons of areas like this. I've got 24 blocks of iron and 42 blocks of copper. I have a problem, okay? I will be down here until I get as much of this stuff as I can or I run out of torches and can't make any more. Block of raw copper. I didn't even know you could find that underground. Isn't that like... Those are nine each. What? Let me know in the comments if any of you have ever found blocks of raw copper. All right, so I know I keep saying that I'm going to go back up. And I think at this point, I've gotten plenty of resources. I've got plenty of iron and other stuff. I say that as I mine more iron. And I was kind of thinking, you know, I'm not that far away from my actual base. And I found this spider spawner. Now, spider spawners, they're not really great for many types of farms, to be honest. You can get XP, you can get string, you can get spider eyes, which are actually very beneficial. I'm going to take that in case I don't have any... Let's just get rid of the chicken. I give up trying to save things. Let's just get rid of the chicken. Sorry, chicken. And I actually had this idea. So right now we are very, very deep underground. We are like at Y23. Earlier we were at like Y negative 10. So I was thinking, why not just build my way up using ladders? Hopefully I'm actually going to have enough wood to craft the ladders, but I should. 57 ladders. Okay, we have a stack and we're going to have to give up something if I want to do ladders. Actually, no, we can just use the chest. All right, so we have almost two stacks of ladders. So the idea here is we're just going to dig straight up and place ladders. I know what you're thinking. You shouldn't really dig straight up. And, and you would, you would be, right. be right. And we're also going to put some torches in between a couple of the layers just to add an extra bit of light. But yeah, we're just going to dig straight back up and get to surface so that way we can come back here in the future and continue to loot these caves. Light them up so my mob cap won't be so bad in this area. No way am I already to the surface. Wow. Okay. You know what? That's not that bad. I didn't think we we're going to the surface that fast. Yo, we are right here too. Look at this. We got our iron and a lot of other resources along with it that we can use to continue to make new tools. We can go to the nether to get the supplies for the villagers and we can begin breeding and trading with as many villagers as possible to get our overpowered armor. So from this trip, 
we got ourselves three diamonds, three emeralds, 13 gold ingots. We have 24 blocks of iron plus an additional one plus an additional stack and eight raw iron. That's tons of iron. We got 42 copper blocks. We've got a bunch of lapis. We got some redstone and yeah, we did really well. We got what we needed. We got the iron. We're good to go with the iron. I'm not going to bother smelting anything except for the iron. We're going to cook all of this iron while we can and we're going to grab our obsidian so we could actually go to the nether. I've only got seven obsidian. Yikes. So now I have to go find lava for obsidian. I could either find lava or I could make a diamond pickaxe. I do have enough to make a diamond pickaxe. You know what? Let's just make a diamond pickaxe. Let's just do that. Diamond pickaxe. We're going to go to this iron one. It's a waste of diamonds, but there will be many, many more diamonds to come in this series. Trust me. And we're going to just, uh, we're going to sleep because all those guys are out there. Gross, icky spiders. So we're going to grab two new buckets to get lava and we're just going to have a diamond pickaxe so we can use to get any obsidian we can find. Yo, there we go. Let's go. Lava pool. Perfect. All right, so I grabbed 12 obsidian. I know it's a little extra, but I figured, you know, might as well have a couple extras just in case. And now we just need a flint and steel. All right, so the sun is going down. We got our flint and steel. I really hope this has another fortress. This is really, really a dangerous biome. People always ask me why I put torches down the nether. I put torches down so I can figure out my way back. All right, we got the big view and so far I see nothing. Is this really it? Look at this dude. This dude's just pretending to be a boat. 1.19 added boat chests. What about boat gas? Can, can you guys go? Are there three of- Oh. Okay, that's cool. This nether is just full of nothing but ghasts. I just want to see past you. I'm going to get this, man. Tell me how I didn't hit that. Come on. Tell me how I didn't hit that. Come on. Got him. And my rewards went straight in the lava, didn't they? Straight in the lava. Yep, they're gone. Okay, that's fantastic. Nether fortress. Nether fortress. Look over there. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's in a basalt biome. That sucks, okay? But we can manage this. You know, I was actually thinking this is gonna be a difficult path to get over here, but uh, we got ourselves some easy glowstone right here. I'm not gonna take a ton of it because we can always come back, especially since once I get an alchemist, I could just trade for glowstone anyways. So I don't really need this, but you know what? I can take it, therefore I will. Ooh, I was gonna enter right here, but I'm kind of feeling over there is gonna be better. Okay, not that bad. This is one of the, like, better entrances for, like, a nether fortress. Let's go, nether fortress. Diamond horse armor. Yes, please. Shadow Mirror will be so happy. Okay, I do hear blazes. I don't think there's going to be very many wither skeletons here, like I said. Hey, watch out. Never mind. Can we maybe get, like, a wither skull while we're here? I do actually need those bones, so... Did not want to give me a blaze rod. Oh, we got another chest over here. More gold. Perfect. Exactly what I need. Love to get me some more gold. And a diamond. Okay. Okay, so we may not be finding blaze spawners, but there are a lot of chests in this one. Two more diamonds and three obsidian. Okay. There are a lot of blaze that have spawned. Okay, we got our first blaze rod. Let's ditch one gold nugget for now. We got two blaze rods. Three blaze rods, let's go. This is getting risky though. I don't I don't like this area. I'm not gonna lie. There are a lot of wither skeletons out here. I was severely underestimating the amount of wither boys. It's okay, as long as I can fight them one at a time. Either that's the same nether fortress. No, that there's no way. It's too far away. There's a second nether fortress out there. We're already fighting. We might as well take our chances. See what we get. No wither skull. Okay, we did find the blazes though. Look at that. We got five blaze rods. All right, that's a lot. That's a lot of blaze spots. All right, they broke my shield. 
They broke my shield. All right, we got 10 blaze rods. I think that is, uh, that's good. Okay, so after heading back through the portal, it spawned me over here. No clue why, but it spawned a second portal. So we're just gonna casually just pop that out of existence and head back home. We did end up getting what we needed. We got 10 blaze rods and we got 45 nether wart. We ended up getting 30 gold total from the nether. That puts us up to 65 gold. And we got diamond horse armor. I don't know if I have an anvil. I think Shadow Mirror deserves his name. Although I really shouldn't make an anvil yet. And here I am doing it. Plonk name tag, Shadow Mirror. That's how you spell his name, right? Okay, yep, that's his name. I spelled his name right. And we're gonna give him diamond horse armor. My boy, it is time after all this time boom shadow mirror and boom diamond horse armor baby let's go i'll make you a horse stable in the future i swear this is a temporary base though we need to make money first okay so we got our blaze rods so i stole two brewing stands good we're gonna need spider eyes brown mushrooms which i'm pretty sure we don't have but there is a forest nearby we have one spider eye it looks like i'm gonna have to go spider eye hunting tonight although this rain is driving me crazy please, please just let me sleep. sleep i need to get spider eyes and brown mushrooms i don't want to go over to the forest and have to listen to the rain and have to deal with all of the other mobs that are going to spawn so i had a genius idea instead of doing something as small brain as that why not instead make a new sword since mine's about to break and you can go back down to the spider spawner and just hunt us some spiders i'm gonna put it right here in case it breaks while i'm fighting all we gotta do is literally go straight down and it leads directly into the spider spawner plus whenever i want to i can also go down here and explore the cave for even more loot since i did not finish looting the cave i don't even think about this light being an issue so we're probably gonna have to like break it we'll, we'll see what happens okay so i made out with six oh there's a lot of mobs out here i made out with six um spider eyes let's see if i can get some uh hey i got a dog let's see if i can get another dog let's get a third dog I made new friends that might die by this creeper. Oh, no, no, no. Get him. Get him, balls. Get him. Get him, boys. Get him. Get the spider. Come on, man. Get the spider. Get this. Just just get the spider. Just. I want to see you get the spider. Come on. There we go. Look at that. Anyways, I came back with a whopping six spider eyes, which is enough to fully cure six villagers. That's probably overkill, but I want to make sure we have plenty of emeralds. Maybe each of these guys, if I see different comments down below that I really like, I think are funny, or maybe top comments, then you will have a chance to be named one of these three doggos. And you can even select which color you want. So make some kind of funny, clever comment down below and I can name you one of these three guys. I think that'd be pretty cool. All right, so I'm over in the nearby spruce forest because we need one more thing before we can start curing our villagers. I need brown mushrooms. Ooh, up here we got Podzle. Ooh. Ooh, we've got big spruce boys. This podzel? Okay, yeah, perfect. Here we go. Lots of let's go. Perfect. And we can always just plant more of them in the future. Even cooler than that is we have one of these giant spruce tree biomes nearby. <gasps> oh. Okay, cave. That's cool. I'm gonna collect a couple more of these and we'll be out of here. Okay, I said it was going to be quick, but I ended up with 33 of them because as we all know, I am a hoarder and if I see something, I take it so that way I have it when I need it. But yeah, we've got our mushrooms, we've got our spider eyes. I think we need sugar, but I'm pretty sure I collected sugar cane already. I'll grab some on the way back just in case. And we are ready to start messing around with our villagers to get OP crazy tools and armor. All right, so now that we're back home, we've got everything that we need and we'll make six fermented spider eyes. Now to see a little bit of glass and we can make glass bottles to start pumping out some potions. Pop in one right here and we are ready to go. And now we just need gunpowder. All right, and now we have our first six splash potions of weakness. So we can start disinfecting as many villagers as we want, but now we have to think about how we're going to do it. Are we going to bring the villagers closer over here to make their little breeding area, or am I gonna do it further over by the village so that way I can always make a bigger structure in the future? In the future of this series, this area is going to look nothing like it does today. I want this all to be amazing and we can also add stuff in the ocean. But this is the beginning part, is getting OP and going to defeat the dragon. I think I decided what I'm gonna do, 
We're going to put a small little station over there that's got like the villagers where they'll all be captured. And we're just going to make like a cheap like cobblestone area that we push the individual villagers into as we start giving them jobs. So for this, we're going to need lots of wheat so we can get our sheep population up. We're going to need to make a pair of shears or two. More wood for building blocks. I mean, I've got like spruce. That's not enough to build what I'm trying to build with. We could just go get some more spruce wood. We'll probably just go do that. We're up to almost four stacks of spruce. It's pretty good. The next thing we need to get is some happy sheep. So first, we're going to make all of the sheep naked. And now that they're naked, we're going to make them breed. Breed! Breed! All right, we got 16 white wool, five, and one black. All right, so now we have to figure out a nice little spot that we could use to sustain this kind of structure. I was kind of thinking right here, it would be a mess because of the terrain that would kind of work. We could just put it in the middle of the village over here. Look at this. We even got like sustainable farmland right here too. All right, so the first thing we have to do is rob these villagers of everything they love. Nothing, nothing that I'm not used to doing. You know what I mean? We're going to get rid of all this water because it is directly in our way. Power through it. Get out of my way, chicken. Everything I love breaks. You're all good now. We've got a bunch more iron. I actually brought over an anvil as well, so we can name the farmer. But first, we need a composter. We need a hoe. That's what I was. I forgot to bring a hoe. All right, we got ourselves an iron hoe. We're gonna go find ourselves the center point that we want to build at. I'm thinking like right. Probably like right here should be good. Then we're gonna face it that way. So let's put like right here. So we got the water, right? We got one, two, three, four. It's four, right? That goes out from the crops. And the idea is we plant a carrot there, take the composter, put the composter there. We get a block on top of it. Break this. So we got one, two, three, four, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Is it five? Let's do five and let's see if the fifth one stays hydrated. If it doesn't, then it's not five. Oh, nope. It's not five. Okay. All right. So you've got our main area that we're going to use for the farmer. Now we're going to dig some area around it and we're going to place out a little spruce path. So that way, I always do this whenever I make one of these, just so I don't have to worry about any villager mishaps. Because a lot of times what the villagers will do is they'll jump down off the bed onto the like the farm blocks and they will just kill the farm blocks all right so we got this first spot and now essentially what we're going to have is beds right here and then we're going to build the outside wall so we're going to make a two area outside like this this is where all the beds are going to be put All right, now that we got this little spot, that is enough room for all of the beds. What I could do is I can go around the village stealing all the beds tonight and place them inside of here and see if I can get all the villagers to go in before nighttime. It's really close to nighttime though, so I'm a little doubtful of that. All right, I am really running out of time here. What we're going to do is we're going to break one by one each of these villagers out. And we're going to hope that they just come over here. All right, and now one by one, I pretty much just have to do this. I don't really have many torches. So it being nighttime, it's... Where is it? No, 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 not my bed, idiot. After the sun went down, I continued working on this little base, and I even got a couple of villagers inside, but after enough time had passed, there were too many mobs outside, so I finished off building the fence top area, and I blocked the villagers that I had gotten in inside for the night before going to sleep with them. Alright, so I didn't quite get as many villagers in here as I wanted to last night, because I was it was too big of a risk. 
but all is good because we are planting all of the carrots. So the key is to load up this place with carrots and then the one farmer that's in here will be our number one best boy who will start distributing carrots to other villagers and they will start breeding. Also fun fact, I get this in the comments actually quite often. People will say like, oh, why don't you use bread? The reason why you don't use bread is because you have to craft the bread. There's no consistent amount of bread that is automated. With the carrots, I can just leave the carrots alone and the farmer will do all of the work for me kind of like what he's about to do now. Start making babies. Now, if they see if there's enough beds in here, they will start making babies already. I'm hoping that's what they're going to start doing over there. But in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to go back over, take care of the sheep so that way we can get a lot more beds. All right, so we end up getting a whole bunch more resources. Let's go back over there and make the beds to fill it in. I kid you not, I walk over here and there's already a baby. It didn't even take them that long. They've already made a baby. There's enough beds. That they're just like, yo, repopulation time. So let's just make as many of these beds as we can. Oh, my inventory is so full. I'm going to make beds one at a time. All right, so they've got a lot more beds than they did before. Uh, it's almost filled in. This area is working pretty well already. They've already made one baby. Once the sun comes down, we pretty much just have to go over to the other remaining, remaining houses, break all the doors, and take their beds and lure them in over here. And then we can officially start messing with zombie villagers. All right, so the sun is starting to set, and I want these guys to go to sleep way sooner. So let's try to get as many of their beds as possible. Okay, we're taking your bed. I do like how this works perfectly, though. I had all of these guys captured in the first episode, and finally, they're all nice and safe. Oh. Hey, man, you like beds? Are you stupid? Yeah, come on over here. Yeah, look, beds. Oh, there's a creeper. Oh, there's two creepers. It's just a pile of villagers. What are they doing? I'm not messing with the creepers. What are you guys all doing? Oh, no. Did any zombies get in here? Okay, no zombies have gotten in. Okay, we got three villagers so far. All right, so I think we let four villagers go. I have no clue what happened to the... Oh, come on, man. Come get some uh, some of these sweet beds. You want to lay in the middle of a field? Come on. And I think that's all the villagers. I There may be one or two that I didn't actually put in their place, but you know what? That's okay because this area is pretty good. All right, finally, it's idiot's home. All right, so now that we've got this area in full swing, I'm pretty sure they're already making more babies. And there's an iron golem in there. That's They've got a defender, so that's cool. I need to make an area to actually infect villagers at. So I was thinking maybe probably like right here, to be honest. Just a place where I can like row the boats in and out pretty easy. So I was going to build like up to here, make it too high. So that way I didn't have to deal with any iron golems that decided, hey, I want to yeet your friends into oblivion that you're spending tons of money on. It's not about looks yet. This is a video about progress. We're making progress today. You know what? Let's, let's at least spruce it up a little bit. No pun intended. Let's just add... Let's use spruce for the corners, just so it at least looks somewhat decent. Also, I went and got some coal out of a nearby cave. It's not much, but it's it's coal, you know. I got enough to make 60 torches, actually. That's not bad. In fact, I can make this extra easy by trapping some of them now. Oh, not all of you. Not all of you. Get, get in there. Nice try, guys. Nice try. I'd like to save on potions as well. If I can get three of them in there, that'd be great. We're going to start with three of them, so that way we can get a Fletcher for sticks and... Actually, let's do two Fletchers and then a Farmer. Fun fact, if you press F3 and the letter B on your keyboard, you can get what's called Bounding Boxes, which are these. And you can use them to not hit the villagers when you're trying to get them out of the boats. Because fun fact, their hitbox, as you can see, is very small for the boat. You stay in there. Your job is to defend. Their job is to get eaten. All right, we got a couple of takers down here. We got some zombies. Come on, guys. Who wants dinner? Boom. Boom. And he's already attacking them too. Look at that. I mean, I guess I'm already doing the zombie villager stuff, but I could just get him as well. Ooh, the iron golem wants him. The iron golem wants him. Look at him. All right, three zombies. Cool. If we can go get that zombie villager, then that would be perfect. Although I do think I need another zombie. 
Oh, he has a sword. He hurts. Just walk into the boat. Walk into the boat. Oh my god. All right. Operation is good. Now I need to make some golden apples and probably gonna sleep first. So I don't have to deal with all these mobs. All right. So I made a severe miscalculation. I was supposed to have given all these guys a job first. I don't think I got all of them. So we're gonna cure you, 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 and you. And we're just gonna chill here. So once all these villagers do cure, I made four Fletcher blocks. We're gonna make them all into Fletchers so that way you can just do all sticks. Since stick trades are like the most efficient, I've also got bamboo. I did bring bamboo over here. So I could even go ahead and plant bamboo now if I wanted to, just to get like a bamboo farm going. But for now, we're just gonna hang out here and wait for these guys to one by one cure. And then once they do cure, we will go ahead and give them their job blocks and trade a bunch of sticks with them. All right, we got our first taker. Oh, we got our second taker. Job block for you, job block for you. Please take these jobs because if I have to kill the zombies, then that just kind of defeats the purpose, man. You especially, since you don't have a zombie, you take job, take job. Ah, okay. And I completely forgot how expensive it was to level these guys up. This is rough. I don't have enough. These guys aren't even taking the jobs. This guy took the job though. And now I have a ton of bows. All right, I did get the second guy to take a job, but he's also got the 26 price tag. I'm thinking maybe if I just lock them in as a Fletcher, then maybe that's enough. Ooh, ooh, this works out. This works out. Come on over, come on over. Right here, right here. Perfect. You go away. It might be too late at night for them to even take jobs anymore. If I can at least get two of them to be one for one stick trades, that will be perfect. I might just have to kill all the zombies, get enough sticks to fully level up each of these guys, and then restart the process. Right, so at this point, none of the villagers want to give me better trades. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to kill... I'm out of golden apples, so I'm just going to kill each of the zombies. So two of them are master rank. I'm hoping maybe once I kill all the zombies with them, then they'll just start working and maybe they'll just have good trades. I really don't know what to expect though at this point. And then once they get maxed out trades, then I have to, I guess, cure them more again this sucks this actually sucks i'm so poor all right so at this point none of the villagers are where i want them to be i think because i didn't actually trade with them and master them before curing them a bunch their trades broke so i kind of just ended up wasting all of my golden apples that's pretty fun i'm down to six gold so that means we have two things we need to acquire before we can actually finish up those guys one we're gonna need more gold and then two i need to mass gather some wood so i can actually trade with the fletchers before curing them so let's go to the nether Wow, did I forget how terrible this place is. This is going to be a fun process. Oh, apparently I explored all nether biomes within my first portal. Look at that. Nice. You know, in my head, I was like, wow, you know, I'm going to go up here start collecting all this like gold and stuff. And I thought it was gonna suck. I thought it wasn't gonna work that well. This is going pretty well though. I'm getting a lot of gold. There's, is that FaZe Clan? Is there FaZe Clan in my Minecraft? What? I wish I set this up as like a fake bit or something. But this this was actually just here. You know what, FaZe Clan, I'm sorry, but I need the bones so I can grow some crops. Another portal, I miss you so much. Wow, that was stupid. Why'd I do that? Oh, I love how, what? 
even is this? It just keeps spawning more portals over here. All right, so overall, that was a highly successful trip to the nether. Had a couple of scares there, but I did get a pretty good amount of loot. Yo, 63 gold. How many golden apples can that make me? All right, so 63 gold is not enough to make eight apples, just one off, but it is a progress. It, it is progress. We have seven golden apples. If I use these right, then I can cure one of these guys the exact right amount of times. I can cure them three times. I can do that for two of them. If I do it for two of them, then I finally will have one for one stick trades. And for the rest of them, I don't know what to do. So that's not too great. This dude is an expert. This dude is an expert. You need to be leveled up and you need to be leveled up, which means only one thing. It is time to go collect some wood. What did I just stumble upon? What even is this? Just like a random wandering gang of skeletons and what? What? I've never seen that before. Oh, you probably came from down there. All right. So I was mining spruce trees for about an entire day and it was what? One, two, three, four, five and 13. So five stacks and 13. That's not too terrible. So today our goal is going to be to finish leveling up these dorks before we start infecting them. All right, we got the first guy leveled up to the max. Well, I guess he technically can still be leveled up a little more. These guys are a lot more expensive than I was thinking they were going to be. Hey, I love wasting wood as much as the next guy, but like at the same time, how about no? All right, this dude's maxed out. There we go. He's got a stupid whatever. That guy's an apprentice still. Was this guy one trade off? Oh, wow. That explains so much. Are they both one trade off? Okay, no, this guy's not. This guy's just not leveled up. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You know, actually, I could kind of make some good bows by doing this too. I could just combine a bunch of the bows. All right, this dude is a master. He's got slowness tipped arrows. This dude's a master. He's got night vision tipped arrows, which is really useful, actually. This dude's a master, and we got one more guy left. Yo, he's got Unbreaking 3. That's actually really cracked. That's actually a useful trade. Wow. Too bad. Instead, I'll be buying a bunch of these garbage crossbows to max you out. Sorry, man. So all four of them are masters. Now we just wait for nighttime. Once nighttime rolls around, I get some boats and we will start trapping zombies. Hopefully the iron golem won't take them out. But once we get enough zombies in here, we can start infecting and curing these guys. Although I only have enough gold to do two of them. So that kind of sucks. Isn't this just the most gorgeous sunset? Like ever like just look at this this is beautiful anyways yeah nice starting to come out so it is time to catch us some zombies i think what i'm gonna try to do here is i'm just gonna get enough zombies for all four of them because you know honestly why not and we're gonna kind of wing it i'm thinking maybe since they've already got one discount maybe it'll only take two per if that's the case i could do three and a half hey zombie number one how's it going man hey zombie number two zombie number three how's it is that zombie number four over there? How's it going, guys? How's it hanging? Look at this. This could not get any easier. Hey, yo, come on, guys. Join the party. Let's let's come join the party. Come on. Yeah. No. Oh, my God. I'm... I just let them go. I just let them go. Why'd I do that? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Where did the other villager go? Okay, no, I need you. Where did the fourth one go? No, 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 no. Don't infect him. Don't infect him. Not yet, not yet, not yet. This is going so wrong. Let's just get all these guys back in real quick. Hey, look at this. This guy just volunteered. I didn't even have to do anything. All four of these guys are back where they need to be. And two of them already have zombies. Let's go back out and get two more zombies that just conveniently spawned in right... Hey, look, a whole bunch of them. Only two of you are allowed in. Because I don't want to deal with more than you. All right, one in there and one in there. Perfect. Kill off you and we are good to go. All right, perfect. It is the next day. Boom, boom, boom. And I missed this guy. 
Alright, and now I am pretty much just stuck waiting here for a while. 346 minutes later. Alright, we've got contender number one, please. And he's got 19. Oh, we got contender number two. Oh, they're all curing. Okay, 19 and 19. Okay, so it's looking like they're still gonna need three, which is kind of... It's kind of troubling. Let's let them all get infected one more time. Yeah, we'll do one at a time. Just that way I can make sure I can at least get one guy that has stick trades so we can actually start our stick empire. This is taking way longer than I was hoping it to. All right, so this dude cured for the second time and 13. That's terrible, please. Six. That means it's going to take all of... No. Why is it going to take that many cures? All right, good and bad news. So finally, I got this guy to one stick trade. However, bad news, it took a lot more golden apples than I was hoping for. It took three or four to get this guy. So because I didn't have quite enough gold to make the golden apples to finish curing all my boys, I decided to waste even more of my time by going back down to the mines that I left off in a couple days ago to try to find some gold. And while down here, I actually had quite a bit of luck. The very first vein that I found ended up having 10 gold but i wasn't done there four and a half stacks of iron i got 63 gold make hopefully enough that should be pretty much enough to at least get three of the villagers to where i want them to be so that way all of my villagers will be set to go and we can begin getting crazy armor and tools and weapons we got two guys at one for one stick trades which should be enough and now we can begin working on getting diamond armor and tools we're gonna go ahead and use some of the books that we have to make a bookshelf and we're gonna make our first lectern all right i do not want to hit you guys but it is time you are now all free you guys are free to work on your lecterns we're gonna take all their lecterns and we're gonna kind of just put them in the corner since it'll save us some space yeah 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 emerald trading begins bro this guy gave me fortune three i'm gonna take that i'm gonna take that fortune three is god tier yes please i think we're gonna get some armors real quick so we can upgrade to diamond and hopefully see you know exactly how much work we're gonna have to put in for diamond armor to see if i can get like a protection for enchantment All right, we got some pretty minuscule iron tools. Yo, that's not bad, actually. Efficiency two on breaking two. Oh, no, he doesn't want any more. You're going to have to go back to work. In the meantime, I'm going to go trade with the stick boys for the first time. Hello, stick trader boys. Boom, beautiful capitalism, level 52. Now things are going well. This is all worth it. And his final is trash. This guy is trash. He's gotten breaking two, but I mean, fortune one for the pickaxe. I just got fortune three. We're going to try to get ourselves a set of diamond armor. And hopefully I don't have to roll for prot four because protection four is like the most difficult enchantment. All right, man, please don't fail me. Fire protection two, unbreaking three. Not great, but that is a source of unbreaking three for pants. But then again, I need it for... Oh, man, this guy, this guy sucks. sucks. I wish I could make this up. I placed this lectern one time, and this man gave me infinity. I would like an infinity bow. So, I now have a source of bookshelves, and... I also now have an infinity book guy. And finally, my stick boys are kind of actually working. For a while there, my stick guys were just not refreshing their trades whatsoever. Look at how much XP I already have. It's your last trade. Please at least have a good chess piece. Protection two? Protection two, I'm breaking two. Okay. I can work with that, actually. I can make prop four with that. Okay, this is a pretty good silk touch. I'm going to take this. Silk touch for one? All right, you know what? I'm taking this. I'm taking this. Protection three for one. Easy. I will take your entire inventory. This is great because everything else has gone wrong. These guys are like, they're just not trading. Yeah, this guy won't refresh his trades. And the other one is at like, where, where even is he? He's at six now. What is going on? It's okay. We're going to anvil all of these for protection four. Perfect. Protection four. Protection four. Protection four and 
protection for. So now we just need unbreaking three and mending. And that's the first base set of enchantments for the armor, unincluding Depth Strider and Aqua Infinity and random stuff like that. All right, he's got Feather Falling three. I'm actually going to take that because I can just buy two Feather Falling three books and boom, Feather Falling four for the boots secured. Hey, we got mending. Let's go. Nice. For now, we just need unbreaking three for pretty much everything. One of them went up to 38. This guy. 38. They're just broken. I don't know what's going on with this world, but the trades are just super crazy. And as soon as I said that, literally seconds later, this guy's back down to one trade. And now he's back up to 25. They're just, they're acting weird, man. The villagers are acting weird. I think this is what happens when you don't cure them. You cure them before you actually give them their final roll. So before I make them into Master Fletchers, I cured them. And that's... I should have just gotten new villagers because they're just broken now. They just don't keep trading. I don't know what's going on with this world, but villager trading's broken, which sucks, is one of my favorite parts about Minecraft. And it's making my life a living nightmare right now. But even with that being the case, I did go ahead and get myself some pieces of diamond armor because I have a plan here. I don't have them breaking three yet. So I was thinking I disenchant one of them, give it protection four, and then combine it with the unbreaking three one so that way I also get unbreaking three. And then that way I can combine all my armor without having unbreaking three books because I do have the protection fours and then I have the mending. All right, it's not, it's not unbreaking three, but I did finally get, a, I got looting three. I now have sweeping edge three, respiration three, and looting three. At this point, the only enchantments I really need are unbreaking and efficiency. Finally, finally it's happened. Efficiency five, let's go. And for 24 too, that's actually pretty cheap. Oh God, I need, I need stuff now. I cannot miss out. I cannot miss out on this. So now I can make, you know, fortune three, efficiency five pickaxe. And we finally got unbreaking three. And he also had fire prop four, which is just a kind of bonus. And we now have pretty much all the enchantments we need. All right, so I got up to about level 24, and I also got myself some ender pearls by trading with the alchemist. Uh, so we have enough ender pearls now, pretty much. I mean, a little bit more after a couple more trades, and we can probably just go to the nether for more blaze rods and then to the end. But first, we have to finish our sword, our bow, and our diamond armor. For the helmet, respiration 3, unbreaking 3, protection 4, aqua infinity, and mending. That's going to be expensive. For the leggings, we have unbreaking 3, protection 4, and mending. For the boots, we have feather falling 4, Depth Strider 3, and Breaking 3, Protection 4, and Mending. And for the boots, I know there's more enchantments. I know there's like Soul Speed and uh, the new whatever enchantment for the Ancient Cities. But I'm not going to count them for this because I'm not actually in 1.19 yet. Domain Expansion, the Unbreaking 3, Protection 4, Mending chest piece. <laughs> And it broke my, it broke my anvil again. Okay. Because we've got significantly more defense now. Now I also have to make another anvil. So with no other options to get some easy XP, I decided to do the one thing that I do best. I went back down inside the caves to begin exploring and mining every piece of ore that I could find. And while down here, not only did I get a lot more gold and other resources, including diamonds, but I also stumbled upon something incredible. Yo, is that another dungeon? Ooh, yes, please. We got music discs I don't care about. Nice. Nothing too great out of the chest, but I'll still take it. Let's go. Just look at this cave, man. I stumbled upon a um a dripstone cave. And I swear I saw, yes, pink axolotl. And now I can start breeding them and hopefully get a blue axolotl. Which, yes, if you've seen the 100 Days Infinite Village World video, I know it's not a blue one. Everybody in the comment section keeps saying that. I know. Look at how massive. Look at, there's, ooh. 
So in the future, we're definitely gonna come down here and steal that geode. So now that I was back from my mining trip and I was still desperate need of lots more XP, I just kind of sat around for the next couple of days working on smelting more resources for XP while also trading with different villagers and struggling to still get my stick boys to actually do their jobs. As I kept plowing through these levels, I put together each book as I could until I was ready to piece together my helmet and half of my boots. But at this point, I was pretty much out of ways to get XP minus the stick traders. So I had this genius idea to go and make a weaponsmith. I wasted all my emeralds on a bell. I wasted them on a bell so I could get infinite diamond swords. Sharpness one unbreaking one. That's so bad to begin chopping down the bamboo. Let's go. Okay, so I got all of my enchantments together for the helmet and all my enchantments together for the boots. And then my armor is done. That's that's huge. That's really huge. So here I was wasting even more of my time staying up until literally 6 a.m. grinding XP back and forth using both the alchemist villagers, all the other random armorers and toolsmiths and the stick boys when they actually wanted to work. And one by one, I completed the last two pieces of my full overpowered armor. And now I had a full set of diamond armor and all I needed to do was make the tools before I could go to the end and defeat the dragon. But since I now had this diamond armor, it was time to go to the nether to get the last bit of XP for those weapons because I was done with villager trading at this point. All right, so now that we do have all of our armor done, there's a couple of things that I decided I did want to do before we finish getting a lot of XP for our tools. When I go into the nether, I would like to clean up that forest. All right, diamond hoe on breaking three, efficiency five, mending. And we're gonna name it the classic name that I named my hoe in my first hardcore series. I'm naming it your mother. I am so sorry you had to see that. Now we're gonna make a ax. We're gonna do efficiency five on breaking three and mending. We have to give this axe the perfect name. This one is also going to be an old name that I've used. Axe Septic Eye. Get it? Axe Septic Eye? Ha <laughs> It's a funny pun. We are now set to go to the nether. First, we're going to see how dangerous this area is. I would like to clear it out. So that way, all of these dangerous mobs stop jumping me. Oh, yes. Look at how much faster we just destroy. So yeah, real quick, we're going to clean this area out because I don't want to keep dealing with this. I didn't clean up too much of it, but I did kind of at least get rid of this little pile that we had just chilling at spawn. But uh, yeah, we're going to make our way over to the nether fortress so we can fight some blazes. Blazes would be a good source of XP. Plus, we could also get a lot more blaze rods so we can actually make our eyes of ender. Nice! We've already got 19 more levels! Let's go! Okay, pop the anvil back down. Boom! And sweeping edge 3, unbreaking 3, fire aspect 2, sharpness 5, looting 3, mending for the sword. This sword's going to be cracked. So where should I put the nether portal? I'm thinking maybe, what if I just put it like in this hallway? Let's see where this goes. I have no clue where this is going to go. Why did it spawn me in a cave? That sucks. All right. Well, that didn't work. Let's go. I'm not scared of you guys anymore. I mean, I wasn't scared of you guys in the first place, but I am significantly more powerful than you now. And we got a blaze rod. So I sat around the blaze spawner here farming blazes with ease without any fire damage whatsoever until I had enough levels to finally create my brand new god diamond sword and boom sweeping edge three and breaking three fire aspect two sharpness five looting three mending and i'm gonna name this a very special name i used to actually name my sword this in my original hardcore series but i am going to name this orphan obliterator i'm naming it in honor of technoblade i know i haven't spoken about techno on my channel because i didn't really think it was my place i didn't personally know him but i do want to say that i am really sad about what happened to him he was an amazing guy and he was 
was honestly like a beacon of light in the community and i really looked up to him i thought he was an amazing guy an amazing creator and i've actually learned a lot from him i i'm sad that i never got to meet him i always wanted to meet him and i didn't really want to address this in a video like just a video like i want to build something for him in hardcore but i don't want to build like make a whole video out of it because i don't want to essentially like gain any like attention and growth from using his name because there are people online that are doing that and if you see that you see like any of those clickbait videos please honestly for his family and for his friends just go and report those videos because it's messed up like that's not cool at all and yeah honestly it's that's all i'm really gonna say on it because i don't i don't know what else to say i'm terrible with words when it comes to these things but i was really bummed out so in honor of him we have orphan obliterator the sword i think he gave it to his axe before but either way this thing is now a two-shotting machine look at this boom boom two shots done so now the remaining goal is to get enough xp for my god bow All right, I'm breaking three, punch two, power five, infinity, flame, bow. And we're gonna give it the perfect name of L plus ratio plus cringe plus you fell off. The perfect name for a bow. It doesn't just destroy them physically, it destroys them emotionally as well. And if you're wondering about my weapons, yes, I did not give my sword knockback because knockback is awful. All right, so my inventory is mostly clean except for one last thing. I made a shield and... We're going to go ahead and give it Unbreaking 3 and Mending. I'm going to call it Shield Hero 1 because Season 1 of Shield Hero was really good. Season 2, not not so much. We're going to go ahead and make ourselves 32 Eyes of Ender and we're going to carry 16 Ender Pearls with us. So that way we can get some clutches. Hopefully this is not going to be in the middle of nowhere. Wow, that's very unlucky. Oh, it's turning already. Whoa, that is a massive cave. What is that? Ooh, maybe we'll come back here in the future. This is, whoa, this is crazy. I know 1.18 is not really new anymore, but seeing a bunch of these caves is still crazy to me. I have to take the coal. I'm a sucker. I have fortune three. I can't not take it. Ooh, diamond, let's go. Oh, it's so nice having the ability to swim fast and not drown instantly. That makes my life so much better. Is that, oh, a trident boy? Wait, trident boy? Come here. Please, trident. No trident, Sag. Where, where'd the boat go? Did he break my boat? I move so much faster with these enchantments. I love this so much. Why is my, why are my luck, why is my luck terrible right now with these eyes? Oh, let's go. We found it. I hear lots of mobs down here too, so it must be close. I hope I didn't miss the stronghold. I know that they could be a lot further down in the newer updates. Oh no. Oh no. See, this is why you never dig straight down. If I dug straight down, I'd be dead. Well, actually I have feather falling force. So I probably wouldn't be dead, but you still would be like a pancake. Okay, here's another cave. Oh, wait. I see it. Let's go. All right, so we got the achievement, and there is a mine shaft headed through it. This is the most scuffed stronghold I think I've ever been in. It's got a mine shaft in the middle of it. It's got massive cave system. We're... No way. Are you kidding me? This little spot? I, this is... What? You are kidding me. We have found the stronghold. This is probably the worst stronghold I've ever found. And in the future, when I have to do a project in regards to this thing, it's going to suck. But for now, we are taking on the Ender Dragon. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, bing. Boom. It is time. It is time to beat the Ender Dragon. Let's go. We spawned underground, which is probably one of the safer spawns. All right, let's go. It's go time. I am so unbelievably overprepared for this. This Ender Dragon stands no chance. Why can't I hit this? 
Why can't I hit it? Why can't I hit it? Hey, there we go. Never missed. I never miss. See, look at that. Absolutely cracked. I just hit four in a row. Perfect. We got one more cage up here, and I think this is the last one that's not caged. Don't make me water bucket up there. Nice. Nice. See, she's flying super high up because she's scared. I'd be scared too. Oh, I missed one. Hurry up and hit it before she perches. Nice. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Absolutely correct. Try it. Try it. Try it. As, as I say that, I miss every shot. Oh, she's perching already. Let's go. Easy. Final shots. Why are you running? She's scared. Final shots. Final shots. Oh, I missed. Oh, she hid for that one. Let's go. Let's go. That was that was really easy. That was so easy. If I had enough gas tears, I would make some uh I would make some, you know, crystals so I can respawn her. But now normally I would go through this to try to find an end city. Maybe I should go through one of them just to see if there's an end city. We're just gonna take a little look and see if there's like a nearby one. If I can get an elytra by the end of this video, I will be so happy. Okay, I spawn on top of a course fruit. That's new. We're going to crank the render distance to like 50. Normally when I do 62 or 64, the frame rate just tanks whenever I actually start moving. Please, large end city. Full 360 sweep. Large end city. Yes! It's got an end ship! It's got an end ship! Let's go! But it is really, really far out there. So we're gonna have to like build our way across to this and walk around. Come to think of it, why did I not make an ender chest? I could have literally made an ender chest before coming here. Pro tip, if you wanna not have to worry about falling in the end, you can always change sneak to toggle. So that way, whenever you hit sneak, you're just permanently sneaking. My hands are... Oh, stop it. Stop it. My fingers are super sweaty, and I'm terrified that I'm going to slip, even though I have pretty much permanent sneak on. No, don't do it to me. Please let there be an easy way across. I don't want to have to go... Okay, cool. Cool. We just follow that way, and then go around over to there. Is that a second one in the distance? Oh, no. All right, it's time. Shulker boxes. We've also got looting so I can get shulker shells. We're going to be so stacked by... This is great. Oh, no, no, no. You're not knocking me out of here. You guys are the worst. They have so much knockback. You guys are not nice. In the first chest, we got fortune two shovel. Eh. I mean, honestly, not terrible loot. Let's use this opportunity to dump some of this, like, inventory clog that we have going on here. None of you can even imagine standing up to what I've become now. Open up. This is what happens when you open up. You get hurt. Actually, no, don't don't take that as real advice. There's just so many of them. Yeah, hit me. Hit me so I can get like get all my loot. Why do you keep teleporting? I just want to steal stuff. Ooh, actually, I have Ooh. So there is that other one over there that we could go to. Now I don't really need the loot yet. I'd rather wait till I have fireworks for it. And there's no end ship that I could see. However, there is a portal that we can escape in. We can get in our elytra and leave. Worst case scenario, I do have blocks in my inventory. Or I do have ender pearls still. So I could just yeet a couple of ender pearls down and I will be fine. There we go. Oh, that that made me real nervous. The time is mine. The elytra is mine. Sky's the limit. Let's go. And in this one, we have more gold. Beautiful. And garbage enchantments. Okay. Again, bad shovel and bad pants. Wow. Normally, the loot inside of these things is absolutely cracked. You can't loot an end ship without taking the dragon head. It is tradition. It is my trophy. Yes. Speaking of dragon head, I never took the actual dragon egg. So I should probably do that when we get back to the actual spawn. And I'm not going to loot that. I think we'll save that for another day. Maybe we'll do an episode where we just loot tons of end cities. Yeet.
That is scary. Let's go collect our dragon's egg and roll credits. I don't know where the dragon's egg actually even spawned. Oh, I, I, I never even right clicked it. Look at that. I never right clicked it to even spawn it in somewhere. Huh, that's funny. So we came out here with eight shulkers. That's pretty good. And boom, roll credits. Now there is one last thing that we have to do in celebration. Oh God, that's a lot of villagers. Let's actually sleep before we do this because I don't really want to deal with everything. I'm breaking three, mending. And we're going to name this bad boy Apollinar's Wings. Let me know down in the comments if you know what this is a reference to because I'm not sure if that many people actually get it. But yeah, we have an elytra now. Episode two, we can make ourselves eight shulker boxes so not only do we have the armor the elytra the tools but now we also have shulker boxes we are moving up in the world anyways that's going to be all for today and i just wanted to say thank you for watching to the end this video took an insane amount of work to do and prepare and i love having you all here i also wanted to give an extra large thank you to all of my brand new patreon supporters you all go the extra mile for me which really helps me out a ton Thank you all so much. If you too would like to help support me on Patreon, the link is down below with my other socials, like Twitter, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And for supporting, you also get exclusive access to my world downloads and new entirely custom mods that I have made for each video. Thank you all, and I will see you all in the next video, which might just be on your screen right now. If you're still here, you have to click it. It's like the law. I don't make the law, I just follow it, okay? Why have you not clicked the video yet?